Hi everyone and welcome to And So On. My name is Lisa and today I'm going to be talking about knitting. So I have dabbled a little bit in knitting on this channel before, just kind of showing you guys what I'm working on. And um, I'm, today I want to show you a little bit more. I want to get a little more into my knitting. Wow, there's a big cat on the... Hi, cat. I want to talk about knitting. I want to talk about yarn. And I think I'm going to try and start incorporating a little more knitting into this channel. Maybe I'll do one sewing video, one knitting video. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So I've really been knitting a lot lately. And you know, I think it's because... I sewed so much in the last year and I'll post a link to the video where I show you everything that I made from August to August of last year and I made 62 garments. Just for me, that's not even including garments I made for other people, it's not including gifts, it's not including anything else, just what I made for me. So it's kind of not surprising that right now I'm feeling like I need a little palette cleanser, a little creative something that's a little bit different. And so what I've been doing is I have been knitting. Now I am a knitter and I've been knitting for a few years now, but just like how I used to sew and then I got involved in the sewing community and everything just kind of blew up, that's how I'm feeling about knitting right now. I'm just starting to discover the knitting community online. I'm just starting to discover the Instagram handles and, and the YouTube accounts and I'm really, really loving it. And of course, all oh, the beautiful yarn. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you everything that I am working on, the things that I've completed. If you saw my last video, I have finished both of those items. And then as well, I have an unboxing. So I don't know if you guys have ever heard of a knit crate. Um, this is a monthly subscription service and I actually saw it on another YouTube channel and there was a discount code, although ironically, I now have a better discount code for you guys than I got for myself, but whatevs. Um, and so I thought I would do this unboxing. So Knit Crate is monthly and you can cancel it anytime. So my plan was just to get one and see and then decide if I want to continue. So we'll open this up and we'll see if I continue. But the nice thing about it is it's free shipping or at least, you know, shipping included if you want to be a little jaded. <laughs> um, but especially when it's coming to a different country, like when it's coming to Canada or if you live in the UK, having shipping included is pretty great. Now, I will say this was not the fastest shipping I've ever had, but um, I did contact them and they said that number one, it was the Canadian Thanksgiving holiday, which makes sense. And as well, they have just switched to a new Canadian um, shipping supplier and they're gonna start that next month. So I feel good that it'll be better. And honestly, when the shipping's included, I have to be a little more um, understanding. Okay, so I got their regular box. This is their proprietary line of yarn and ooh, ooh, pretty pretty look that's nice so this is their own fingering weight yarn so you can do fingering weight you can do sock weight um, and you can do either their proprietary line which is a little bit cheaper or you can do an artisan line if you want to try different artisans so oh wow oh this is really soft I am loving this color it's called tapenade and this is a hundred grams and it's a merino oh that's why it's a merino silk and cashmere blend so that's why it's so soft so this was this cost me um it was 25 dollars us for the box and so i have these two skeins which two skeins of really good yarn for 25 dollars alone is pretty amazing um but i also got 20 percent off so it was 20 dollars and um yeah and then also what's else is in here so there's two patterns there is a crochet pattern and there is a knitting pattern. So the knitting pattern is this beautiful shawl. Look, in the exact same color too. So that's one thing is you don't get to pick your colors. They, I think they have like three or four different colorways and you just kind of luck of the draw what you get. But you're getting such a discount on the, on the yarn and it is really beautiful quality yarn, which now, just like the fabric, when I started to get into good fabric and I started to realize, oh, that's really good fabric, I'm getting there with yarn and I'm like, oh, okay, this is really nice yarn. Um, I would like to try their artisan box too. But so you, we get this pattern which is which there is enough yarn in here to make or if I was a crocheter which I am not but if I was there's the crochet one um, and yeah and that's that's it in the box 
So if you would like to try this as well, like I said, I actually have a better coupon code. Um, I can get you $10 off. So instead of 25 for this specific box, it would be 15. And then there, the, um, the sock wool box I think is 20 and the artisan ones I think are like 35 or something like that. But anyway, to give it a shot, you get $10 off. I'm gonna put my referral link below. And yes, if you use it, then I get $10 off of my next one. So if you do decide to do it, please please let me know below so I can give you a shout out on the next video. I so appreciate it. But like I said, I got 20% off with a, with a code from another YouTuber and that got me $5 off. So instead you're getting 10. Okay. So how about some finished objects? I'm, I'm learning the lingo in knitting and FOs. Finished objects is like a thing. So let's start with my finished objects. So I showed you guys the, um, the socks that I was working on last time. They're blowing out a bit. There we go. And these socks. So I have, them both done, voila. These are the Indigo Leaves Socks by Hohi Locatelli, and I'll put in a picture, and I will also link it down below. And I did these for my very first knit along, and even the Ravelry group, I was like, what, how does this work? I was so confused. Um, I did these out of a sock yarn by Patton's that has a little bit of elastic in it. And um, they're great, they're a little bit big on me. And what I'm noticing, uh, the more I knit, is that I think I have a really pretty loose gauge. And so I've actually just switched, and I'm gonna show you on my next, um, my works in progress, that I've switched to a new set of needles. But this is my first time doing lace. Actually, let me show you on this side, there we go. This is my first time doing lace. And I've always shied away from lace because I felt like, I don't know, I just, it seemed complicated and you had to pay too much attention. And actually it's so funny because the first sock I did pretty cleanly and the second sock, there were like mistakes all over the place. Like here, I forgot to turn over the cable and I think there's a couple places where I did that. Yep, there's another one right there, but I was not going back. And honestly, if someone is noticing the mistakes in my socks, I, I don't know, like <laughs> I've said this before, I have to be a better conversationalist if someone is noticing the mistakes in my socks. Um, overall, I think these are going to be awesome and they are super comfortable and they've made me want to, to knit more lace. Okay, next you might remember that I was working on the Bobble Cowl, also by Hohi Locatelli, and I finished this as well and I haven't seamed, up, seamed it up yet, but I can just show you here um, this. Now, I played with this pattern a bit because it was I was getting a little bored to be totally honest after a certain amount of it so I added a little bit of stockinette in the middle um, a couple times and you know this is going to be seamed down here and I'll show you what it's going to look like it's going to look like like this when I have it all seamed up the back there we go so I think I actually might gift this. I think this is gonna become a Christmas present. So this is cotton and alpaca blend. And um, I don't remember the maker off the top of my head, but if I can figure it out, I'll, I'll link it below. Um, and yeah, so this was really fun to do, um, but I did in the end kind of get a little bit bored of it and I, I wanted to kind of change it up a bit. And then I probably could have gone to the end of the two balls that I was using. I was holding two yarns together to, to do this, to get, make it a little bit thicker. And you can see here that those are the two yarns that I was holding together. And like I said, those was, that was cotton and alpaca. So I also really like this. I could see doing it again, maybe in a fingering, like maybe in one of these to give it just a little more, I don't know. I, I find the cotton a little bit loosey goosey. And I wonder if this might give it just a little more bulk isn't the right word, but strength. Do you know what I mean? And then lastly, I decided to try out some double-sided knitting. So double-sided knitting is when you, you're you knitting two sides in different colors or different patterns, and you're creating two fabrics that are attached together. And so I did a really great class on Blueprint, and I'll link that below as well, um, to do the double knitting. So this was actually just my test swatch that I decided that I was learning on, that I just decided, well, I'm gonna keep going, and I'm gonna make it into a cowl for Audrey. So it's a little bit small for me, but for my daughter, it'll actually be perfect and it'll be reversible. So you can go like that, or you can go like that. So again, I just need to seam up the side, um, but I wanted to be able to show you uh, how that looks. And oops, again, wrong side, let's do that side. Yeah, and, I, and every time that you switched Instead of, so you would knit this side all with the gray yarn, but if you switch to the cream yarn, 
it actually changes the little color on the little V, but it also attaches the two together so that they don't kind of move around a lot. Here I was just testing in some mohair yarn to see if I wanted to do that. In the end, I decided against it. Um, but yeah, it's really cushy and squishy and really it'll be super nice and warm for winter. Works in progress. So I have one sock done for my daughter, for my youngest, and I just did this in some worsted that I had around and I kind of improvised the pattern and because of that, it doesn't fit all that great. But uh, I'm learning, I'm learning. That's, that's kind of what I love about all of my handicrafts is I get to learn new things and challenge my brain. So she really likes this and it took no time at all. So I'm gonna make another one of those. And then the only other thing I have cast on at the moment, although I've got some lots of plans, but the only thing I have cast on at the moment is this pair of socks. And this is Sweet Georgia yarn, which is very popular. And it's actually out of Vancouver, which is quite lovely. Um, and I got this at our local shop here in Toronto called the Purple Pearl, which is at the east end of Toronto. And so one ball will get me two socks. And I'm trying something different this time in that I am using both ends of the ball of yarn to knit the socks. So I'm gonna let you know how that goes. So like I mentioned, I have just sized down my needles again. So now I am down to 2.0 millimeter needles, which I think might be a zero in in US yarn, in, in US needles. And these are Haya Haya needles, and these are actually um, uh, ones that, you know, attach, that you just, you know, do this to. And I have this cord. I got a 60 inch cord, which is longer than my other ones. I don't have my other ones here, but they, my other ones were, 2.25s and they had a 40 inch cable and I found that with two at a time I was still feeling a little bit eh, eh, eh. and so now I've gone with a 60 and the 2.0s and I have to say so far I really really like it so clearly I'm not getting a super tight tight gauge with this with these um two millimeter needles I think they're about right and this is for a knit along for Sweet Georgia yarns and I'll put in the picture of the pattern I'm doing they're called the Taffy Toes socks and let me tell you guys I have ripped out these already three times which oops dropped my yarn I've already ripped these out three times which for knit like it's annoying in sewing but it's really annoying in knitting because it takes like no time to unravel it and then you've got to like could spend a whole evening of knitting that you've got to knit back again but it's part of the process and um and that's actually i did i didn't initially have these on one cable and it's a good thing that i didn't because when you make a mistake with two at a time you've got to go all the way back or at least move these onto um onto double pointed needles while you fix the mistake on one or the other so i think they're gonna be really pretty and um, I was getting into it this morning. I've already adjusted the pattern again. <laughs> I can't just leave it as is, can I? I've already adjusted the pattern again. And um, yeah, I do, I do really love this yarn. It's super, super soft. The Creative Festival was on in Toronto this week in Mississauga, and I hadn't gone in years, and so I popped out there to see if there was anything interesting, and I happened to have some friends in, in the industry that I was able to visit with. And yeah, so I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was great to be totally honest. I only found I think three yarn vendors total and um, I really expected more. I found one garment garment fabrics vendor and then a much more quilting vendors. Um, yeah, I, I kind of expected more. I don't know what's going on Toronto. You need to get some better some better festivals going on for your sewers and your knitters. But I did pick up two yarns and I want to show you guys one of them I've already wound and one of them I haven't. So I got this. Look at that color. Look at that color. Joma. This is also a sock yarn and this is Glam Panda in Hot Flamingo. And this is actually spun and dyed on Vancouver Island, which is where my husband is from and we've been many, many times. And this is 70% superwash merino, 20% bamboo, and 10% nylon. So these will be amazing socks. I got these at the booth of Yarn Crush, which is something I did discover at the Creative Festival, and that is a monthly kit club for Canadians, or not for Canadians, but by Canadians in Canada, and they do feature a lot of Canadian yarn. So they had some of their yarn there on sale, and I thought I would pick it, pick it up. So look at this one. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Like the mauves and the pinks and the grays and the whites. I'm not a big mauvey person, but there's something about this that was absolutely gorgeous. And the maker of this is 
They're called Fiberlia. I think they're called Fiber. Is that what that says? Fiberlia. Yeah. Fiberlia. <laughs> And uh, I'm guessing this is done in Canada as well. And this is also um, the same the same blend, 70% merino, 20% bamboo, and 10% nylon. So I think I'm also going to do socks with this. I know I'm on a sock kick. I'm on a big sock kick. But I have a pattern, and I'll put a picture of the pattern that they actually gave me for free uh, that they had at the booth. And I started knitting that up in another... Um, in another yarn only to find that my gauge was totally off and they were going to be these mammoth socks. And so I ripped them all back and did nothing, <laughs> did nothing with it. I should have taken a picture though, cause they look so pretty, but anyway, um, so I might do that. If anyone has single skein, um, ideas for fingering yarn that they're, that they can share with me, I would love to hear that. Um, I haven't done a ton of hats. Um, and I'm, uh, I'm not huge on shawls. Like I, I'm not really a huge, like I get the idea of them, but I don't wear them very often. So I think that's why I'm gravitating towards socks. Cause I do love socks and I wear a lot of socks. However, I have to start thinking about Christmas and if I'm going to be knitting stuff, some quick single skein stuff would be a good idea. So link me up below. And lastly, uh, on Facebook, actually Facebook marketplace, I got this drops air yarn and um, I got this color and I got a very dark gray and I'll put in a picture and the interesting thing about this yarn is it's not spun there's some sort of fiber tube and they blow the fibers into here so this is an alpaca wool um, and polyamide blend it's really soft and cushy um, and it's a bulky yarn I think I think it's a bulky or maybe it's a no it's an it's an it's a worsted it's a worsted weight um, and I think I'm going to do my first sweater finally for me. I've done sweaters for like babies and I've done um, that kind of thing, but I think I'm going to do my first sweater in this and I'll put in a picture of the design that I think I'm going to do. So wish me luck. I think I'm going to cast that on. So that is all my knitting. I'm really kind of excited. I'm really excited about this box. I, I'm definitely going to do at least another month and wait and see. I might do one of the different boxes. I might do, oh, I'm going to sneeze. Hey, shoo! really looking forward to trying something with this and I think I'm gonna get the knit crate box for another month or two um, probably through the end of the year at least since I'm gonna be you know knitting for Christmas I may as well get some really beautiful yarn at a good price and I'm not I'm not super super picky about color so when I went on the blog and I looked at their options for October they had beautiful stuff so I think I'm going to enjoy the October box as well now I am going to get back to sewing. Don't you worry. I am not switching this to a knitting blog. Um, I'm more just kind of adding, adding a little sparkle, a little something different, a little freshness. Um, the other reason why I wasn't sewing, to be honest, you guys, is we had uh, people here for Thanksgiving, which was wonderful. Um, but because of that, the girls were sleeping in my sewing room. So it was hard to get things done. <laughs> But I do have some wonderful sewing coming up. You will definitely see that this week, next week, coming up. It will all be around. Anyway, please let me know below if you enjoyed this. Um, it's my first knitting one. So if you stuck through to the end, thank you so much. That's really kind of you. I'd love to know what you'd like to hear about. Um, I'd love to know if you have any other knitting YouTubers that you recommend because I do love listening to knitting YouTubers. Um, if you have any favorite patterns or pattern resources, of course, Ravelry and Pinterest I use a lot. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up and let me know you'd like to hear more about knitting. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Um, we are gunning for 10,000 subscribers. We're already almost at 7,000 again, and we just finished our 6,000 subscriber giveaway. So it's really, really exciting. Please do jump on board and hit that subscribe button. All right, you guys, I am off to my daughter's school. It is fall fair day and there is cotton candy to be had. So I am off. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.